school children are amongst the thousands of Zimbabweans who have attended Robert Mugabe's birthday celebrations. And there's no doubt that one or two may have preferred to be somewhere else. Now, over there, President Mugabe has just arrived, and when he did arrive, he was greeted with loud cheers. Thousands of people who gathered here started waving flags, and they were chanting his clan name, Kushungo. Now, a short while ago, the president has just released balloons as part of his birthday celebrations. There's heavy security here. The police and the military are in charge. In that tent over there, President Mugabe has just been cutting his birthday cake. Now, many people have also turned up to give him birthday presents, and those include a one-ton chair carved in stone, coated in gold and diamonds. And if you look behind me over there, part of the gifts also include cattle. Mr. Mugabe also received special messages from the leaders of China and Russia. And as usual, Mr. Mugabe did not have any warm words for the UK. The British, we don't hate you. We only love our country. Robert Mugabe has outfoxed and outlived most of his enemies and many rumors about his death. He's in remarkably good shape for a 90-year-old, and his hour-long speech demonstrates his astounding presence of mind. But not many people can argue about Mugabe's contribution to Zimbabwe's liberation struggle, but his controversial legacy will no doubt follow him to the grave and beyond.